Jalen Shedd was primarily recruited by Derek Shea. You may not know that name, but Derek Shea is LSU's tight ends coach. And you may go, Matt, I didn't know LSU had a tight ends coach. And there's a good reason why you would know that LSU had a tight ends coach. Because you can only have 10 full-time on-field assistants. Derek Shea is a grad assistant who coaches tight ends. Because grad assistants can coach on the field. I was so glad to hear this. So last, you know, Ed Ogeron on every Tuesday visits with Jordy and T-Bob on Off the Bench. And last week they talked about their, their grad assistant program. I want to play, this is a long cut. This runs a little more than a minute. But Ed Ogeron goes into great detail about the, I think they, I think they asked about Christian Lockager, who played defensive line at LSU, of course, and now is a GA. And this led LSU to talk about that GA program. Listen to this, and it's going to give great insight and to how they're utilizing these positions on staff. The graduate assistants can coach on the field. So you got a guy like Christian Lockature who's doing a lot of coaching on the field, uh, does a lot of work for us, but obviously Christian played for me. I believe Christian is going to be an excellent football coach, but the difference between a graduate assistant and uh, analysts, the graduate assistants can coach on the field. So they're a big plus for us. They arrange everything. They do the scout team for us. And uh, they're very smart, up, up and coming guys. And then you have uh, you have Derek Sway who coaches the tight end for us. Uh, Derek was at IMG last year. He he was at uh, McNeese, and uh, we don't have a full time tight end coach, so he he does a great job for us at, at tight end. Alex Osborne, uh, who played at ULM, who was at uh, Louisiana Lafayette, came to us. Highly recommended. Uh, is a graduate assistant with Bo Pelini at linebacker. Uh, the good thing about Alex, man, he came in here about 2.30, and we run around at practice over here. He's down to about 2.05, so I'm a little <laughs> bit worried about him. <laughs> you know, and, and then you have Brandon Taylor, who, who does the special teams with Coach Max. So you have three outstanding uh, uh, young coaches that really I treat like full-time coaches. When I coached with Jimmy Johnson, and I was there as a graduate assistant, he walked in there and says, guys, everybody here is a full-time coach. Act like it and coach like it. I love that last part. And it gives you great insight into how Ed Ogeron views those positions. Think about this. like Ed has talked so much about his years with Jimmy Johnson, his years with Pete Carroll, being on national championship staffs, and he's implemented so many of their procedures, their ideas, their tendencies. Like It's very obvious that he has cultivated a championship cal caliber program based on the many lessons he learned from other championship caliber coaches. And I think about this... This great, remember, Ed was a GA for Jimmy Johnson at Miami and was coaching on the field. So he took that lesson from almost 40 years ago and he's carried it over here. Dennis Johnson. Dennis Johnson was a GA. Ed made him a full-time staff member. Now he's at Baylor. We just talked about Christian Lockature. Who's, who's next, by the way? I mean, he's he's obviously in that pipeline. Derek Shea, who we're talking about, who was the recruiter for Shed. Derek Shea was one of McNeese's full He was the McNeese tight ends coach. He was a full time coach at McNeese a year ago. He left a full time on field staff job to take a GA job, a grad assistant job at LSU because he knows, get in that pipeline of what Ogeron does because of how he uses his assistants, because Dennis Johnson did it. John DeCoster. John DeCoster was a GA at LSU last year, and now he's got a full-time on-field job at Old Dominion. Blaine Goche, same thing. GA, now a full got a full-time on-field job. Remember Eric Mateos? Eric Mateos, they loved Eric Mateos. Ed loved him. He was a GA. When Ed got the full-time job, he retained Mateos, and Mateos is now, went, he left LSU as a GA, got a full-time job at Texas State as the offensive line coach, and now he's at BYU as the offensive line coach. The proof is in the pudding. Like, Ed knows how to utilize his grad assistants to maximize them and then maximize their exposure and give them an opportunity to go on and be greater. And it allows you to bend that 10 assistant rule. You've got 10 on-field assistants, full-time on-field assistants, but when you put so much value into your GA program, you get a better quality crop of guys who then go on to be full-time coaches. It's like stealing, man. This program, y'all, this program has figured out 
every way to maximize every inch of what they're allowed. Practice time, coaching staff, analysts, everything. It's why you got to be confident about their ability and their staying power. This is going to be a major year for LSU, y'all. I mean, when you lose as much talent as they did, there's a giant question of if you're going to take it, how big of a step you take back. But Clemson, Ohio State, Bama, every year, those guys lose 10, got, 10 players to the draft every year. And they lose assistance. But the next year, they're always right back there in the conversation because of how they've built the functionality of their program. That conveyor belt never stops running. And LSU feels like it's in that conversation. This year is going to prove it. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.